before the 1800s, Greece was ruled by the Ottomans. However, Greeks still had memories of their ancient history and culture with great national... <laughs> 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 Before the 1800s, Greece was ruled by the Ottomans, however, Greeks still had memories of their ancient history and culture. With great nationalism spirit, they demanded independence and rebelled against Ottomans in 1821. Educated people around Europe also loved and respected their culture and supported Greek independence. In 1827, a combined British, French, and Russian fleet defeated the Ottomans in Navarino. In 1830, Greece was guaranteed independence with a treaty. In 1830, King Charles X wanted a return of monarchy but fled to England after revolts. Luis Felipe, a liberal reformer, replaced Charles. After 18 years, Luis Felipe lost popularity and a republic was set up but failed immediately. While the radicals were fighting each other, a moderate constitution was set up with a parliament and a president. Napoleon Bonaparte's nephew, Luis Napoleon, won. He reformed France back to a prosperous country. Russia was still a feudal country into the 1800s, and their technology was behind the rest of the Europe. As a result, they lost many key battles when Tsar Nicholas I was ruling. After that, Nicholas's son, Alexander II, believed that reforms were necessary. He abolished serfdom in 1861. However, the peasants were still tied to the land as they were required to pay for the land they received. In 1881, Alexander II was assassinated. his rule on Russia. Manufacturing industry expanded with great nationalism support. 